Today, we're going to be going through the process of updating the firmware on your Ledger device. This process is the exact same for both models, the Ledger Nano S and the Ledger Nano X. To perform this process, you are going to need your Ledger device as well as the cable to plug it into your computer. You are also going to need Ledger Live installed on your machine. Let's get started. When it comes to your Ledger device, everything is going to be told to you from within the Ledger Live app. Now, I've plugged in my device, I've entered my PIN to unlock my device, and I've opened up Ledger Live. From here, I can navigate to the Manager option on the left-hand side menu to see if there's a firmware update available for my device, as well as to check if there's an update to the Bitcoin app itself. Now, with Ledger Live, there are three things that you can update. The Ledger Live app, your firmware for your device, and the Bitcoin app as well. In this instance, the update to version firmware version 2.0.0 is available, as evidenced by this orange banner at the top of the screen, as well as an update to the Bitcoin app itself to version 1.6.5. To move forward with the firmware update, what I can do is select Update Firmware in the upper right-hand portion of the screen, and it's going to give me some information about my firmware update, telling me what's new and giving me some disclaimers before I update. Now, I am running the latest version of Ledger Live, uh, that was an update that I did prior to the firmware update, so you do just want to make note of everything listed here before you move forward with your firmware update for your Ledger device. You do also want to make sure that you have your recovery phrase, your seed phrase physically backed up, like we talked about in the best practices video. Once you have checked this box for I have my recovery phrase, you can press continue. It's going to begin downloading the update, and it's going to wait for the installer to be downloaded there, giving us a little progress circle, and that should take just a moment to complete. Perfect. Now we're going to be seeing an identifier shown on the screen of our computer as well as on the device itself. So we can go ahead and do is press the rightmost button on your Ledger device, your Nano S or your Nano X, to verify this identifier and match it up with the codes that you're being shown on the screen. I'm going to take just a second to do that and be as diligent as possible while also not making you sit here and wait for me to do this. Once everything looks correct, I can press both buttons to confirm the check mark to perform the update. It's going to have me enter my PIN just one more time. All right, then it's going to enter bootloader mode and continue forward with the update. My device now is saying processing. And then ultimately I am shown the Ledger Live logo and I'm asked to enter my PIN one more time. And with that, my firmware update is completed and I can move forward to installing apps. I want to make sure to install the Bitcoin app to be used with the Unchained platform. So I can select install apps and be taken back to my Ledger Manager, where I can click on the Bitcoin app to be installed onto my device. I'm going to allow the Ledger Manager and select Install on the right-hand side next to the Bitcoin app. Wait just one moment more. And with that, the Bitcoin app is now installed on my Ledger Nano X, and I do see the Bitcoin logo, the B logo on the screen on the dashboard of my Ledger device. And with that, my Ledger Nano X has been fully updated to the latest firmware version for this video, which is 2.0.0. Hopefully you found today's video helpful. For more information on how to use your Ledger, please subscribe to this channel as well as check out our knowledge base, which is linked below. Thank you for watching.